Sitting directly in the middle of the Pacific Ocean, the Hawaiian Islands are about as far away from anywhere as a place can be. Over 2,000 miles to Los Angeles, 4,000 to Tokyo, Hawaii is the essence of isolation. And with the beautiful weather, scenery, and miles of sandy beaches, there's no better place to get away from it all. Here on Maui, streams of excited visitors are welcomed each day through our airport. While just around the corner, ocean transports have traveled far across the waters to deliver everything a person could desire. Well, almost everything. There is one commodity not found here in these ports. To bring it here by boat would require a team of the world's largest tankers, delivering hundreds of times all their other cargo combined. This simple commodity is fresh water. Okay, it may not be the most glamorous thing, but there's very little life without it. And here on a tiny island deep in the Pacific, facing the demands of a growing population and vast acreage of agriculture and industry, it's no easy task to supply it. Fortunately, Mother Nature has provided us her own elegant solution behind a perpetual mist of clouds in the rainforests of Maui. Across these mountaintops and canyons flourish a lush forest like no other. Rising up from a floor of densely carpeted moss, everywhere there is life. Upper, middle, and lower canopies, layers upon layers, trees growing from other trees, and through it all comes the beating of rain like a life-giving pulse. Each of these raindrops represent another contribution to Maui's one and only supply of fresh water, a supply easily taken for granted. The story of Maui's water is unique. The greenery and beauty of the forest, so pleasing to the eye, is the key player in a remarkable tale. A tale that begins out here, in the open waters off Hawaii's coast. Despite its tropical reputation, these waters see very few storms throughout the year. In fact, Hawaii is far from being the equatorial jungle so commonly imagined. Situated at 20 degrees latitude, Hawaii shares its place on the globe with other locations like northern Mexico, Saudi Arabia, and the Sahara Desert. All these regions lie in a particular band around the globe where, due to the effects of atmospheric circulation, cloud growth is discouraged. These places are condemned to be desert. What makes Hawaii unique, what keeps it from being just another piece of desert, begins with its placement in the middle of the ocean. Across hundreds of miles of water, there blows a perpetual northeastern breeze known as the trade winds, named for the favorite route of seagoing merchant ships that became dependent on these reliable breezes. Wave after wave, the trade winds approach as an invisible river of air, just waiting for something to reach up and grab it. And that's exactly what happens as the trade winds strike Hawaii's northeastern mountains. As the air is forced up and around these steep mountains, it's cooled and condensed into clouds, which become darker, heavier, and finally, overflow with rain. While the open ocean around Maui receives only about 20 inches of rain a year, just a few miles away at the top of these peaks, there falls over 420 inches a year. What would normally be a desert becomes one of the wettest places on Earth. The first thing this rain encounters is the upper canopy of the rainforest, a rooftop of ohia and koa trees. Beneath this shelter, lies a much darker world, the understory. With only limited sunlight, it's not an easy life for many plants, or some insects for that matter. The dark and wet conditions are too inhospitable for honeybees, leaving the task of pollination in the hands and mouths of other creatures, most notably birds and night-flying moths. Some species exhibit traits that are uniquely adapted to this purpose like long curved beaks for reaching deep into flowers. And some flowers, 
They're nothing to attract or grow and fall away without ever opening up. The most common plants that thrive in this environment are the ferns, a countless variety of mosses, vines, and lichens. All these residents make the rainforest the ideal conservator of a watershed. Shade cast by the upper canopy helps minimize the drying effects of evaporation, while in the middle canopy, fog passing through the abundant leaves and branches will condense and drip to the ground. As all this water reaches the surface, it encounters the sponge-like mosses that blanket the forest floor. These help to slow the rate of runoff, an important consideration on a small island where an entire river can drain away to the sea in a matter of hours. The volcanic rock that makes up the Hawaiian Islands is permeated with cracks and fissures, making it so porous that surface water quickly becomes groundwater. Supplied by the reserves of the rainforest, trillions of gallons of precipitation filters its way through the volcanic interior. From the mountains down to the shore, Maui is filled with water. Back on the surface, rivers and streams cascade from their high peaks and enter the world of man with a breathtaking display of waterfalls and pools. Many parks and trails exist around the island where one can experience the beauty of the rainforest firsthand. In West Maui, the Iao Valley provides an easily accessible passage into a world of sheer cliffs, rushing water, and rich Hawaiian history. In East Maui, there are views to be found all along the road to Hana, traveling through miles of scenic forest and culminating in the National Park at Ohio Gulch. Oh, and what happens with all those clouds, you may wonder? Well, as the trade winds continue on their way, the entire process follows in reverse. Gliding down the mountainous western slopes, the air expands, the clouds evaporate, and the shores of Maui return to sunshine and blue skies. It's all a result of a magic combination like no other in the world. Steep volcanic peaks and tropical waters, the sunshine and the rain, lush forest and beautiful beaches. All are reminders that Maui truly is paradise. <laughs>